Hello everybody, this is episode 81, day 89 of our Grand Island Adventure. Today Ewan manages to clear the chimney attached to the fireplace in the bedroom, but the chimney for the library fireplace remains obstructed. He also manages to light a fire in the bedroom. Hey everyone, it's week 13, day 6. I've not long got back from Mullingar after the escapade with my uh, uh, bank card. You can read about it in the description. Um, Basically, I, uh, I was in Mullingar yesterday afternoon and I uh, did some shopping in Tesco's Mullingar and I forgot to take my card out of the mini bank, uh, out of the self checkout machine. I got back up here as far as Balladrine, wanted to get some money out of the bank and there was no card in my wallet, so I turned around and went back to Mullingar, an hour and a half journey. When I got to Tesco's, it was, I don't know, I don't know, 8-ish, 9 o'clock, something like that, 9pm. And the staff said that the cash office was now closed and there would be no access to the cash office until 8.30 in the morning. So, uh, <coughs> after a bit of deliberation, uh, I spoke to my wife, Phoebe, and uh, we decided that it was probably easier for me to stay down there in a hotel, cheap hotel, rather than spending an hour and a half coming back up here, only to go back down there again in the morning to come back up here. Oh, just a waste of day travelling. So we did that. I spent the evening last night in the uh, hotel and um, woke up refreshed and ready for a whole new day. I went to Tesco's, got my card, came back up here and uh, I've got myself a new generator just there so you can see that uh, but I just wanted to show you the old one and why it can't be repaired very easily so basically let's uh, set the phone down sorry about the lack of light in here uh, that's the end of the motor the engines at the other side so basically when you take these off there would be uh, a voltage regulator in here it isn't at the moment because I've taken it out uh, when I took it to the hire shop last week he said it was the voltage regulator that was faulty so I bought another one on, e on eBay and it fits there and it plugs into here and it plugs into those brushes there um, positive and negative and it still wouldn't work still wouldn't throw out enough electricity so after having had a look on YouTube at what faults these things go through um, I discovered that if you overload them which I probably did do with the water heater the windings can uh, short out and you see how this one's got string around it they say a good quality one would have string around it because if there's a short those strings will melt and if you can see just up here I don't know if you can see that the string has got a big split in it across there so there's a circuit or there's a wire in here somewhere or several wires that has uh, shorted out and it's caused these to uh, heat up and break and uh, uh, at some point in the future I'm going to take this whole motor off I don't think it, I don't think you can get these windings very easily anyway so uh, I suppose I could have a look and see if you can just buy these uh, separate but the chances of that is going to be quite slim so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole motor off and uh, potentially see if there's any way I can run this as a pump so I need some kind of pump mechanism in there running off the engine shaft or even off this shaft if this is if this goes all the way through um, I need to devise something where I can have some kind of water pump in here and then I can use this for uh, sending water right down to the bottom of the field although there's <laughs> There's a river down there, I dare say I could just scoop up some in a bucket, but 
I, I want to see if I can make something else out of it. So my first inclination is a pump. So I'm going to try that anyway. So I'll eventually get all this taken apart and uh, see what I can make of it. I might even go on YouTube and see what other people have made out of these things. Um, something else about this uh, generator that I don't particularly like is the fact that the uh, uh, silencer for the engine kind of deteriorated and all I'm left with is just the baffle. But if I swing my new one around, whoops, if I swing my new one around, the baffle on this one is a lot shorter and, and chubbier. If I could get an, one of these, that would fit beautifully in there. So I may even try to do that, or or maybe I'll maybe I'll repair this one. Because this had a really big silencer on it. Maybe I'll repair this one and make it look like that. Because it's a lot nicer looking. But the engines are exactly the same engines. The uh, carburetor's the same. The air filter's the same. I dare say these were made in the same Chinese factory that Honda have theirs made in. So apart from that... Uh, Apart from that badge there, you could quite easily put a Honda badge on, or maybe even a whole Honda pull start with the embossed Honda thingy. But they're very similar anyway, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're made in the same Chinese factory. So, so there's the culprit anyway. The uh, the bandings come away, and. Uh, it's a shame really because the engine's fantastic cracking little engine so anyway let's see what i can make of it some other day and uh, right now i'm going to get on with cleaning this chimney i'm going to get the brushes that i borrowed off steve and i'm going to whack them up there and have a look outside see which pot they come out because up, up on the roof there's four pots per chimney no four pots per fireplace although Having a thinking, having to think about it, it's probably two. It may be two pots per chimney, per fireplace. Two pots per pipe, per fireplace, because there's a, a fireplace up there that's been blocked off. So we'll see. Anyway, I'll uh, crack on and do a bit of that, and then uh, if it gets really black and sooty down here, I'll uh, do another video. Okay, so we don't have a lot of uh, light here, unfortunately. So uh, I'll put the camera over here. Right. So what I'm going to do, I've got the I've got the uh, pole up to where it probably comes out at the top, and I'm uh, giving it a bit of a push about, and we're getting twigs. And uh, I'm wearing my I'm wearing my mask because this is extremely dusty. Still more tricks going on. Okay, I'm going to change this top bit now from that to that. See if this makes any difference. a hell of a stone that came out. I don't know what the heck's happening up there.
an even bigger show on. Let me see what's going on outside. Well, I can't see my brush popping out of there right now. Right, I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm uh, continue playing with this a bit longer and if anything interesting happens I'll start the camera again okay let's uh, have a look we've got a nice big pile there so let's uh, look outside apologies for the wind it's extremely windy today but there's my uh, there's my brush head just peeping out there. It's coming out of the second chimney. I don't know whether each fireplace in this place has got two chimneys because there's two fireplaces at this side of the house and there's two fireplaces at that side of the house. So your guess is as good as mine. I've poked it up. To the left and to the right uh, I'm not entirely sure I seem to be uh, I seem to see a bit of uh, uh, the picture looks all right even though there's some water on the lens anyway um, I'm gonna have another go at poking it up see if I can get it to the other side anyway and see if I can get it coming out of a different chimney pot okay I've uh, got the chimney decanted into the wheelbarrow can you see that i can't even see that there into the wheelbarrow just excuse my camera work i put the uh, screen of the phone facing the tripod so i can't see much so there's the fireplace now i just hooked it out and i'm going to poke the camera as far as i can and have a really good look up there like that and then I'm going to come back now and I'm going to shoot off the video and have a look at the results so that was the bedroom here we are now in the living room living room we're not having this as a living room we're having this as the uh, library stroke games room the kitchen in there is going to be the living room so uh, I'm going to put this bit on first and shove it up there see what happens okay well we've got not so much out of this one um it's allowed that piece up because i've seen that poking out of the chimney at the top uh the chimney at the top is broken there are pieces of chimney pot there look i don't know there pieces of chimney pot uh so as like i say it's allowing it's allowing that piece up but it's not allowing that up I get to one two three four four um, rods and then it just won't go up any further but the other one just slides straight up there so I don't know what that is what I might have to do is devise some kind of um, uh, some kind of bracket that I can screw to the top or even fasten something onto the end of here and get my camera up and have a right good look maybe with the flash going I don't know I'll have to have a look anyway it's nothing else I can do today other than clear this rubbish up and uh, call it a day so thank you for watching uh, thank you for watching week 13 day 6 it's been an eventful week and uh, I've enjoyed it all. <laughs>
three. Okay. But it still should go past that. Then you're there. Okay, so I've started a little paper fire just to check what's happening at the chimney, what is happening upstairs because the last time I started a fire here before I cleaned the chimney I ended up with smoke up in the upstairs bedroom so I now know that the chimney is clear so let's have a go with some paper and a bit of wood I don't know if this paper will ignite the wood okay this is uh, me starting a fire I've already right, let me try a trick a neat little trick my grandparents taught me come on fire You know, I believe the only thing that's burning is the match that I put in there. Ah, oh, come on. Maybe this piece of paper's too damp. Done. Try a piece of cardboard. The cardboard might be too damp. The matches certainly are. I'm having to strike three at once just to get a decent flame. Hey, okay, come on, cardboard. That board looks too damp. Okay, I'm going to light the fire now. Maybe I should throw some petrol on it. Okay, I think he's taken old now, so uh, just try to do that.
It seems to be working. Right, let's take this outside and have a look at the chimney. Yeah, I can see the smoke. I don't think the camera can. I can definitely see it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, nip upstairs and have a look in the bedroom. Last time I set a fire going, all this place was full of smoke and it was all going out of that hole there, out of the, out of the side of the house. There's definitely no smoke in here and there's no smoke up there. I am kind of glad that uh, I'm kind of glad. So this this feels that's cold. That's cold. This bit feels a bit warmer, so I'm imagining that the uh, chimney's a bit up there. I wouldn't say it's hot. It's not warm or hot or out. It just feels a bit less cold. Okay. See what the fire's like now. It's gone out. <laughs> Which means there's no smoke up there now. Definitely not. Right, well there you go. I need some more uh, drier paper. So we can quite easily say that that's working. So here we are, sat in front of the fire. In the bedroom. It's uh, all the hard work I've done today has been worth it. It's been really, really worth it to see the flames flickering in the fireplace and the smoke coming out of the chimney like it's supposed to instead of coming out of here, there and everywhere. And this is an absolutely lovely warm fire. It'd be better if this side were lit. <laughs> We've got lots of little bits of wood here from in this from this pile, and uh, I put a I don't know a six-inch piece on top. And although it's got holes, I'd kind of like it if there were more over in this area, a bit more flame there. What I've been doing is this uh, tried and tested trick by my grandparents. I pop that this there for a a few seconds that's just a piece of hardboard and uh, you, can you see how much brighter it is now the air is getting sucked up there there's holes in this grill there's air getting sucked up there and the wind outside is pulling across the chimney and just sucking all the air out of the living room and, it, and then up the uh, chimney and just for a few seconds of that, it just makes a huge difference. All we need now is some uh, nice relaxing background music. You see how the flames have died down again. And pop this in again like so no like so there you go and instantly almost instantly the flames look to be bigger now look how much yellower that is 
can take that away again. I'm wondering if a fire guard would actually improve that. Because there'd be less air coming through this area and more through there. So I might, you see how it's gone, it's no longer yellow. I might actually go down to Parks and ask him if I can have that uh, spare fire guard he's got. Let's see. Oh man, put it in properly. And stay. Okay, so it's kind of dark. And now it's getting more orange. Let's see how much different it looks now. Look, look all that yellow there. I think I definitely need to nip down and get a fire guard. I don't even know what time it is. Yeah, it's gone dark now. Look. Pop that there again. And it's gone brighter. Well, there you go. We've got a fire. I'm happy with that. So, catch you later. Thank you for coming along with us. That's Ewan and Phoebe Wilby on our island renovation journey. If you want to be notified of updates and new videos as they are uploaded, please remember to click the subscribe button below and then hit the bell. Also, we love company, so feel free to share our YouTube channel with your friends. The more the merrier. And please leave us a comment if you wish. We'd love to hear from you. See you next time. Our love to you all.